So you want to be an umpire, huh? Come on down. Show us what you got. We're going to go into the classroom. Right now they're taking attendance. One-on-one, -on -one, this is usually how their day starts in the classroom, and then they head to the field. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be born anew Rewind, take it out of cue I have a question, Sam Harris yep. <clears throat> On a pickoff play to first base If the first baseman drops his knee to block that bag Is that type one obstruction? Or we that is not that? considered type one obstruction In professional baseball not be considered obstruction at any base other than home play. Obviously that has its own set of rules at the point. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Alright, so we're here with Ben. He's one of the instructors at the Wendell Stad School and he's also in charge of the online school. That's right, yep. So, so if you can't get to the Wendelstad School here to be here for the four weeks, you have an opportunity to go to the Wendelstad Online School, correct? That's right, yes. Our, uh, our five-week course, it, uh, it mimics what we learn in the classroom here at Umpire School. So all the rules, the official baseball rules, the two-umpire system, uh, it's all taught online. Uh, and it's actually a self-paced course. So if you are busy with, uh, let's say you have a full-time job, you're in school, you can't ever find time to come down to umpire school. It's a great opportunity to, to still learn the rules, to still learn the two umpire system the professional way. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a fraction of the price to come to, actually come to umpire school. Okay. It mimics umpire school. So umpire school, the professional course, is a five-week course. Uh -huh. It takes all the content and it breaks it down into lectures. So once you pay your registration fee, at that point you get access to all the material. And if you wanted to spend one weekend and knock it all out, you could. Okay. Or if you want to wait and do it one lecture a day, you could do it in five weeks. Okay. All right. So, I mean, how would they get on... How would they get to do that if they want? Yeah, so it's the Wendell Set on Fire School online prep course. You okay. can just Google that right there. Uh, it's also on our social media sites. You can find it there as well. All righty. I mean, and, and the price? Uh, it's $500, so it's about a 20% uh, of what actually coming up Empire School. All right, so there you go. You could do it at home. You could do Wendelstadt at home. You could join the family right in your living room <laughs> <That's> <laughs> for, right. the, for the fraction of the price, and Ben is the one that takes care of it. All right, right, so Ben, you're umpiring where? I'm currently in the Texas League. Yep, okay. so double A. I just finished up my first season in double A, and uh, right now just awaiting spring training assignments. So. All righty. So, I mean, there's some big promotions that came out of Wendell's. Oh, yeah. Year. Oh, yeah. No, we have, we have, we're blessed to have some of the best instructors in the world down here. All so, right. Uh, now, but now, what, what got you into umpiring? Because I know there was yeah. a different course you were going somewhere. You yeah. were going to a law school. Or... Yeah, yeah. I went to, uh, I got my undergrad at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. Uh, I got a four year degree in finance. Okay. And then I was, I took the LSATs and was preparing to go to Nebraska law and uh, my dad was an umpire and he he went to the two-week course the year before and he was like hey Ben you know a lot of the guys that I got put in right I think I think they look just like you do out there when we're working together I think you might actually have a chance and so I said you know what I'm gonna give everything I got to uh, to one month in Daytona Florida I'm gonna graduate a semester early I graduated in December came down January 1st and I said At the end of the month if I they say they like what I do and I get moved on then I'll pursue it to the Fullest of my ability, and if okay. not, then I'll go to law school. And right. So here I am, five years later. Well, that's that backup plan that that's right. Jerry Lane was talking yeah. about. <laughs> that's All right. right. Well, thanks for being on. Absolutely. It was a, it was a great clinic. It. I've, I've been here watching you guys, and these guys, they have it down packed. The instructors know what they're doing. They're teaching you bit by bit. They're, they're building you up. They break you down. They build you up. They show you where the baseball is, and by the end of it, you're eating baseballs like apples. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you. All right. What's your name and where you're from? Uh, Alejandro Perez, originally from Gloucester, Massachusetts, and I hail in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, Savannah. All right, how about you? Daryl Williams from Smith Station, Alabama. Green Vasquez. I'm from New York, from but New York. I live in Oceanside, California. Okay, all right. So you guys here at the Wendelstadt School, and you're part of the Wounded Warrior Program. Yeah, Wounded yes. Warrior Empire Academy, yes Okay, sir. all right. I mean, so what do you think of the school so far? This is week three? Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Wonderful. Love it. Yeah. Going for a lot of good information and stuff to learn. 
Okay. The different taxes on how they um, go from the basics to the more advanced. Okay. It's uh, very educational and learn a lot okay. for the ones who are passionate about umpiring, whether you're in the lowest level or the highest level. Right. Break you all the way down, start you from the beginning, then build you back up step by step. Yeah, and just, just like a boot camp, by the time you get out of boot camp. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, I had some people compare it. It's kind of like boot camp. They break you down, build you back up. No? No? <laughs> I, I, it was 1990 when I attended basic okay. training. So maybe things have changed. Uh -huh. I hope this is not in anywhere similar to basic training today. Okay. All right. So, I mean, what's. Because they're building baseball umpires here. Right. And they're building soldiers there. Right. In Okay, all right, I get that. JT Williamson, uh, I live in Dupiniac Springsport. And who do we have here? Who's this? Uh, this is Shadow. Okay. And she She's my service animal, and she'll be three uh, here in just a couple of weeks. Okay. I mean, so how do you like the uh, Wendell Stat School for Umpires? I uh, love it. Um, yeah? It, it's, it's a whole new and different experience. They are 100% about baseball and family here. I think that's uh, that, that's wonderful. All, all the instructors um, at, at Wendell's Stadium have been awesome. What the one thing that you've learned here that's uh, awed you a little bit? I, I think, again, it comes down to the instructors. Uh, Daytona Beach is great, the weather's great, but it doesn't matter where you are, it, it's the instructors that are here teaching. It, it's, it's Hunter and what Hunter's done for all of his life. All right, well, thank you for being on, and Shadow? <laughs> All righty, thank you. Have a good oh, one. You're very welcome. All right. All right, so here we are. They're going to start doing the drills. This is week three, and let's compare it to week two and see how good they look. We're here with Greg Gibson, a major league umpire. Retired. Retired. <laughs> Greg, Greg Gibson, the home plate umpire, motioning to both players. Today is his last day. We get to touch the shoes the last day uh, and hang them up. <laughs> for umpire school. For, for umpire school. school. Why are you here? I mean, uh, um, one of the things about, I retired. Hunter and I go back. Um, he was the best man at his wedding. Right? Yeah, he, he likes to throw that out there. But, <laughs> the, um, you know, the Major League umpires, they have their meeting in Phoenix, Arizona, getting ready for the season in January. Hunter says, hey, you know, not that they need me, which they don't. Right. These guys don't. But he's like, you know, just come down and, and be there in case something were, something's up. He said, you know, you know how it works and everything. And so that's why I'm here is just kind of make sure that uh, – got a major leaguer around <laughs> you know i hate to say it that way but uh you know the, because one of the things about it this staff these instructors uh they're incredible it was it's been very cool to watch in the fact that harry put the process in years ago and it had changed you know how they train umpires from the word from day one like you never umpired the instruction you right. get. and these instructors are the future major league umpires so right. it's just been awesome yeah, yeah. I mean, every time I get here, it's like a little nostalgia. Something else shows up, you know. It's, it's like memories. Yeah. You come back to when, you know, the student and, and, and your time. And, right. Yeah, I, I, I have done the same thing. You know, I was 
When I came as a student in 91, this was the first year of these fields, and it's been really cool, you know, to be back on the field where I was a student. So, right. And to be able to tell that story. You yeah. know, it can happen. It, yeah, it, it happens. Yeah, so, yeah. for me, it's been therapeutic, and the fact that, you know, being around young guys keeps you young, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's been it's been awesome. Well, I mean, this is this is also, since you're hanging it up, I mean, this is like their last hurrah. And oh, I've, see... I signed a three-year deal. I'm coming back. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, this oh. year, next year for two weeks, and the year after that for two weeks. Oh, there so, you go. So he signed a three-year deal with Connor. You heard it first. Uh, he'll be here for the next <laughs> three years. Next year, Remember, we don't do the, we do this. The umpires, yeah. and since I've been here, the umpire bug has bit me a little bit, and I'm trying to avoid it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Greg's here because we he loves the game, and he leaves the game in good hands for the next 30, 40 years to come instruction of umpires and you know I, I loved my time with Major League Baseball but I'm always going to be a fan of baseball yeah I'm a huge fan and then uh, the profession of umpire okay uh, I loved what I did still love what I get to come out and teach a little bit give give little bits of information here and there but you know for the most part these these young instructors they don't they don't need it. yeah so guys you heard first he'll be here for the next three years ne for, this year this two year more. two more i and, don't know uh, about after that i'm <laughs> sore hurting but anyway thank you it's very much good. thank you here what's happening is what they call control games okay so there there's there's a lot less instructing a little bit more pressure being put on you and you got to come up with it those two weeks of hey you got to get here the third week all right you should you should get this by now it should be something that start coming naturally and some people are starting to piece it together and that's what they're doing here that's all the yelling that's all the screaming people hustling There you go, Lynn Unison. Traverse City, Michigan. Um, I'm a retired educator after being a school administrator in Michigan. Love baseball. I grew up with it in Puerto Rico. And uh, I've been umpiring for a long time and I want to get it right. So okay. I'm here to learn. It is amazing. And the staff that comes in to talk with us, they're very outstanding. Dude. You're not going to be a major league umpire, right? No, no I am not. How, how old are you? I'm 64. 64 years old. But the love of the game brings you here. I do what I'm told. If they need to fill in for a couple of days, and I'm very low, class A, I'm in. Otherwise, I will go back and do high school. Okay, all right. So what would be your dream? As a 64-year-old, my dream would be to make it to the class A and do one season. I'm happy with that. But you know what? It's all good. Y que viva el baseball. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so we have Rex here, and he is part of the supplies that we have here. Tell us what we got here, Rex. Oh, we've got lots of good stuff. We've got moisture wicking t-shirts. Uh, a lot of times the uh, shirts that they give out here are the cotton type, and the moisture wicking is what I know I like to use when I'm working ball. Right. It breathes well, and it's lightweight. Polos, uh, this is nice to wear to the yard. If you're uh, uh, showing up to the yard with something with a collared shirt on it, it you can still rep uh, the school you went to. Right. On those cold days here, as some of the former students know, you need the, uh, you need the toboggan, stocking hat, number of different things. So uh, uh, the lineup card holder, that is made by Ray Brownlee. It's a part of his uh, ump life attire. Okay. So uh, uh, you can get that here as well. We've got the large patch and we've got a smaller patch that has an iron on backing. In okay. case there's something you'd like to put it on, a lot of times folks like to put uh, the bigger patch on their equipment bags right, when they right. get back home. Okay. Uh, as we come around this way, a couple of flex fit hats. We've got the large XL and we also have the small medium. 
Uh, it's got the nice soft uh, backing to it that breathes really well. We also have a limited number. Uh, basically, it's this vest. We've got larges right now. Two different types of hoodies. We've got your standard black, uh, more of the cotton, regular black, but we also have this nice one. It's a two-tone, almost looks like the umpire shirts right. they have, but it's a, a nice feel to it. It wears well. That has been a big hit this year for the students. Backpack. Uh, that's been a big hit this year as well. Nice color to it, reps the school uh, as you're taking it around. You can put your rule books, uh, other stuff that uh, you can take to the ballpark uh, to have that along with you. Okay. So you can get uh, any of this online as well. If you go out to the website uh, for Hunter School or the online uh, Wendelstadt online training, there's a, a spot on there called Apparel. Okay. Click on that, comes up with a Google form. Uh, we ship anywhere, uh, just fill the form out, give your information, then we can ship it out to you if you see something here you like. Okay. Uh, also, hopefully uh, you'll come to school when you're here, try any of this stuff on, see what works, makes you look sharp when you're out there. <laughs> so, All right. thanks for showing and All right. coming out. Thank you. You bet. All right, everybody. First and second, one out. Bob, man, catcher, get ready. Ball! Hey, catcher, why'd you put your mask on like a catcher? You're an umpire. We see everything. What's your name? Where you from? Carlos Hernandez, Sacramento, California. All right. So what you doing here? Learn the proper mechanics of how to be a true umpire. All right. I mean, week three, how's different from week one, week two? Uh, week one, they started out uh, the basics, not even knowing what a baseball is. Then they went to the size, the dimensions. Then they started teaching you about the actual play of the game. Now we're week three, where it's so far in, into the into the system that we can't mess up only because we've been taught so well. What was uh, your favorite thing? Honestly, getting to, the, getting to the live games. Actually putting everything together. You know, the first couple of weeks we're learning how to get off, uh, off the plate or crashing in on, on the, uh, the base umpire. Now we moved into putting all the rotations together, putting the ball in live play, and actually making a true game of, the, of the baseball. What would you rate the instructors here on 1 to 10? The instructors right here are right on point. Okay. They, they, they know material, they know how to crack a joke, they know how to take it serious, and in the long run, they're not going to blow a bunch of wind up your ass. They're going to tell you the truth. And sometimes folks don't like the truth. Yeah. All right. Anybody want to give a shout out to anybody out there? Hey, if everybody back in California got nothing but love for you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Like, who's on first? Who's on first? Yes, ma'am. Well, hello, who's on first and who's on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. Third base. My name is Tessie Chapman. I'm from Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. Red I, Wings. That's right. Oh, okay. I don't miss the snow, so I'm glad to be here. <laughs> this is an amazing experience. There's so much, so much information. I've been umpiring for over 18 years, and by me coming here has definitely enhanced my umpire, and I'm so glad that I took the, church, the time to come here. So okay. What's your favorite thing so far? My favorite is the instructors. 
they are so awesome. They take their time with you. They explain everything. They answer all your questions in a promptly manner. Okay. I mean, so if there was one thing you would change here, what would you change? Uh, probably nothing. <laughs> I got some new brothers, some new sister. It's a family and everyone supports everyone, so right. I don't think I would change anything. Oh, yeah. If I could do it all over again, this would be my first thing out of high school. College ain't for everybody, and since I've been here, I've been trying to encourage the younger ones. That is definitely a great profession for umpiring, and we're short. So my thing is I'm always encouraging young people to get into this profession, especially women. Especially women. Especially women. All right. I know there's four of you at the, the camp today, this week. Oh, this uh, this session, so there's four women on this camp. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So we got women power. Last, last year was two. Now we got four. And coming. we coming. We coming, we here. <laughs> All right. That's it. We want our hats. We <laughs> want our numbers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you anybody want to send a shout out to? Thank you, Hunter and the crew, for allowing us to share this experience. I definitely appreciate it. And I will forever, forever encourage young umpires to come and attend to your school. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. We were talking with Hunter about the equipment, the sponsors. So we did Field One. Field Two is sponsored by who? Uh, Wilson and uh, Joe West and Wilson. You know all the West Fest stuff. Uh, we love that because we've been associated with them forever. And Joe has developed also some amazing equipment, and it's great for them to see that product as well. And we can look forward to continue cooperation with Wilson, and and uh, they're a fan fantastic. They've been around baseball forever, and we're very blessed to have them on field too. And the main thing is just giving the umpires the opportunity to see and make their own educated decisions after wearing the equipment that works best for them. Yeah, I remember I, when I was here, there was some uh, Jerry Davis uh, shin guards yes. that I fell in love with. And um, then the chest guard was the West Vest, yeah. and then the mask was something else. You know, So you, you could piece together your own equipment when you're here. But it's about the personal preference of each umpire, right. and that's what we're so happy. Uh, before we just had some equipment out here, a lot of people brought their own equipment or would buy their equipment. Right. But now we really want them to test it before they make that purchase. Yeah. Because that's a big investment. You know, nowadays, you know, every dollar counts. And you're spending a lot of money to come to school to get trained. And we want to make sure you leave here when you decide what to purchase and you have a knowledge of what you're getting. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Remember, as we say, keep swinging. If you like the show, please do me a favor, subscribe, right? right? You see it? It's right there. Subscribe, share, like, and don't forget, put that bell on. It'll ding you when I put something else on, all right?